And if you look at UNHCR's mandate, which is to provide protection and assistance to those people who are most vulnerable because of they've, they've had to flee from their, their homes, um, there's no better mandate than to, and, and I always sort of see the word protect as almost like a bit patronizing, but like to work with people to, to find solutions for them, to uh -huh. um, find, find a way in which they can move forward. Um, and also to work with the host communities who are, who are often neglected in when we're, when we're talking about refugee oh. situations, because without the host communities and the governments, there wouldn't be a, a place of asylum. So yeah. there has to be, um, you have to be passionate. You have to be enthusiastic about what you do because you won't make a difference. So um, it's it's sort of hand in glove almost. Um, if you're not passionate, if you're not willing to sort of like be in, on the front lines um, and committed to be accountable too, because you have to take responsibility. You can't you can't be a bystander in these sort of situations. We have to be not only the cutting edge. We have to be ahead of the cutting edge. Yeah, <laughs> we, we yeah, have show to, the way. Yeah, yeah, we, we have to sort of try new ways of working uh, because lives are depending on it. And yeah. so we, we can't sort of spend a year or two years piloting and and checking through the processes. We sometimes have to, um, let's say, push push the initiative more than is generally accepted. Over. <laughs> About participation is really important too, because um, often what happens when people go to refugee settlements or urban environments and they look for participation, they take the ones who um, can speak English or who are very, let's say, alpha oriented. Uh -huh. like they, they, they're the first ones to step up. They may have linkages to the authorities. That's not what's important. What is important is going to what we'd say the back of the tent. Yeah. Right. Who are the, who are the, what about the situation of the elderly? What about the situation of um, the pregnant women, uh, conservative groups, indigenous groups? Um, like, take the time to go to the back of the tent, go to the furthest away, the mm. ones who do not want to speak and sort of say, why, like, what is the situation that you're facing? Yeah. And it's, it's only that, like, if you just go to a refugee camp or a refugee settlement or go to an NGO centre, and just talk to the people who are working there. If that's not necessarily reflective of where the true needs are. Yeah, I love your expression, go to the back of the tent.